Hi humans, I am a small protein in your body, molecular motor. I carry life activity in around in your cells, such as kind of career. Actually, I am very tiny, so before the 1990s, it was impossible to observe me individually, even using a microscope. The only thing you could observe was the result that I and my friend's motor proteins had made. To put it very bluntly, you couldn't distinguish on individuals among people doing hundreds of people playing tug of war. The only thing you could see was where the rope had moved. However, the knowledge about working mechanism of individual what molecular motor is crucial for you guys, humans, because disordered us can result in various diseases like cancers. So humans have developed technology and they've gained the ability to distinguish one single molecular motor from another. At last, the era of a single molecule technique has arrived. In a nutshell, single molecule technique is putting a giant glittering bracelet to onto the one of Togawa members, making it easier to distinguish the pl player with this proconscious accessory. And scientists and using this single molecule technique, scientists discover much more personalities about we motor protein. For example, Researchers can see that I walk around with a regular step size, just like you humans. But unlike you, most of the humans, I'm shaken terribly when neighboring water molecules come and hit me. Now I am deeply understood. If it wasn't for the single molecule technique, I and my team of um, Talk over team members can only be observed as one giant blob. Our weevils and wobbles are cancelled out by each other, and my independent hips and holes are drowned out by the groans of the others. I am happy to be distinguished from others and to reveal my true character using this single molecule technique. Hey humans, what about you? Do others know you each through you? Um, well, people who love me know me. But sometimes I feel also like not me, rather just a component of a group. For example, I'm considered a woman who is weak and delicate. I'm considered a Korean who is good at math. And I'm considered as a scientist, a typical nerd. But first, of course, if hundreds of women and men did tug of war, the rope may go to the men's side. Um, but some of women, like me, may be stronger than some of men. And second, the Korean average math score may be high, but I am terrible at math. And third, I study science, but am I a nerd? Uh, maybe. So the properties of a group do not necessarily represent the unique in characteristic of the individual inside it. Despite this, we consistently categorizing the world just because it makes us feel more comfortable. However, this only gives us the misconception that everything is predictable and it generates tenacious discrimination. What if we all decided to see others not as part of a group, but as a single entity? Then maybe, just maybe, we can start to see the truth which is hidden behind the prejudice. Thank you. Diane, thank you so much for your presentation. Um, I am really interested to know a little bit more about the glittering star, so I want to know what is that star when you're doing your science? Okay, the essential of the single molecular technique is distinguish one from others. So we tag stars um, in real scientific word, fluorescent bead 
or fluorescent dyes or fluorescent proteins. Anyway, we can tag the fluorescent light molecule to the proteins we want to know. So we can um, observe these and track these molecules movement and measure the speed for others. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi again, that was absolutely fantastic. I loved your analogy and use of the clips. Um, I wanted to ask, um, so before they had this technique, um, how, how, so for example, how has this technique changed the face of, for example, medicine? Or um, what benefit does it have um, to, uh, in, the, in the laboratory? Um, okay. Um, because single molecular techniques is a kind of concept, not a specific technique. Um, it, uh, com it includes lots of techniques. And before the single molecular technique, um, the major, major research about biomolecules are ensemble um, experiment. We call it ensemble. That means uh, we just can we just could see, could see the ensemble group of proteins at once, but we cannot know their individual speed or their individual properties with ensemble experiment. So um, after the single molecular technique has advanced, uh, we can know that there are different types of those groups, ensemble groups. So we can distinguish the groups or, um, yes, the type and more exact properties of the molecules. Thank you. Very, very well done. Not quite a question, maybe. I'm feeling a bit sorry that Guyan, you, you, you're not that good at math. So if you want some help, I'm here to help with your math. Uh, but. But there's something I would like to know about your research is uh, since we know now more the individual aspects of the cells from these individual aspects can we also gain some insight on the collective aspects that we didn't know before maybe yes of course because when we when you try to explain something we need some numbers parameters and exact getting the exact parameters is very important in science field and if we see the individuals then we can get exact parameters from them so in that aspect the in the, uh, single molecular technique is very very important to um, also see the group properties thank you thank you great answer